everyone, it's Lobster Shorts. It is Saturday morning and we had a big blizzard last night. We actually had a phenomenon called thunder snow. It was really cool. It was thundering and lightning pretty intensely too, all while having a heavy blizzard. So that was really cool. That doesn't usually happen. So we got so much snow and I'm actually a little tuckered out because we've been shoveling snow off the laneway all day. And it's beautiful and sunny outside. So I think for the rest of the day, I'm gonna just take it easy. And I'm gonna show you a pen that I got off Amazon. There's something special about this pen. It is Pen BBS, that's the brand name. It came in this box, it's a plastic box. Now this one is new, this is not something I thrifted. I bought this new because I'll show you what's exciting about this pen. So here's the pen. It is a typical like fountain pen that I normally love, but here's what I'm really excited about. This extra nib here is a rollerball tip. I don't know if it's focusing on that, but normally you don't get refillable rollerballs. They, if you do, they're, um, you know, they come in that little metal piece. It's like a whole piece. You don't get to just shove ink on. So this tip actually will unscrew and then you can put your rollerball tip on there. So I've never tried one of these before. I'm really excited about it. I don't know how it'll work since it's not very common. Maybe it's not that great. So just like the fountain pen, this unscrews, you have the converter that you can refill with your own ink. So I'm not 100% sure if you're supposed to use fountain pen ink in a refillable rollerball. I heard that maybe you're not supposed to, but that's what I have. And fountain pen ink is probably really easy to flush out if it's not ideal. So I am going to use some of my own ink. I'm just going to use this no name green ink I have. It is fountain pen ink that I got off Amazon a while ago. I normally like the shimmering inks, but I am a little worried about this clogging. So I'm just going to use straight green ink with no shimmer and I'm going to give that a try. Okay, so I have this pen filled with a no name fountain pen ink green. I got it off Amazon, but I can't post a link for it because it was a long time ago and I don't remember which store on Amazon I got the ink from. So this pen was taking a while for the ink to flow into the rollerball, so I did just twist the converter until it started coming out. So I'm going to put the pen back together, and I'm going to test this pen. I am left-handed as well, so just be aware if the ink is a smeary mess, that's not the pen's fault, that's just me being left-handed. So this is pen BBS. with the rollerball tip. So it is a little bit scratchy. The ink seems to be flowing pretty good. I haven't had it stop or skip. Yeah, so it is a bit scratchy, but I am still liking it. It doesn't smear that bad either, but that's probably more to do with the paper and the ink than the actual pen. You'll have to bear with me. I have a cranky little puppy here. I would say I do like this pen. Oh, we do have a little bit of skipping ink there.
What I really like about this pen is that you can use your own ink. You don't have to use those replaceable rollerball tips that are like the big metal posts. You just use your own ink and it's right there. You don't have to buy anything new. You just refill it. I think this would actually work really well for a journal too. It seems to be a fairly fine tip. I don't know enough about pens to know if this one's super badly scratchy or not. It is a little scratchy for sure. I'm going to post the link where I got it from on Amazon, but I do like this pen. I think this will be like a journaling pen for me because even with this super smooth, shiny paper and that ink, it's not smudging. Being left-handed, that is something we really love. The ink is stopping on occasion, but it will pick up again without having to, like some pens, I've had to just keep dipping them in water. They just dry out so bad. I'm not going to try shimmering ink in this pen yet. I would love to try a shimmering ink, but I just got the pen and I don't know how bad rollerball tips are for clogging with the shimmer. I feel like it might be a little bit more risky than a fountain pen tip. I'm not going to be trying the fountain pen tip today. Sorry about that, guys. Actually, maybe I should. Maybe I should do that just so I can try everything about this pen. So you just unscrew it. And then you pop the other tip on. I don't know if you have to adjust the cartridge or not. Yeah, it pushed it out a little bit. So again, it's gonna take a while for the ink to move down there. Being super patient, I'm just gonna twist this until it comes out. Not there yet. Oh, there it goes. So I'm going to put the pen back together and we're going to testing. That's a lot smoother actually. Just remember the ink's not fully through it yet. That is way smoother. I'm still gonna, like the whole point I bought this was for the rollerball tip, but the fountain pen tip is way smoother. So yeah, I'll definitely be using the rollerball tip. I will not likely be using this fountain pen tip very much. So just be aware, I think the fountain pen tip does write a lot lighter than the rollerball tip. It is a little bit on the scratchy side and sometimes it does skip a little. But overall, I think it's a pretty cool pen. I really love the rollerball feature.